Steve Nelson owns South Coast Tree Service based out of Ramona. We trim trees, we'll also do removal and stump grinding. Because Jeff deals with all kinds of trees in his business, it's important for him to know about a beetle that's attacking oak trees and killing them. It's called the gold-spotted oak borer, or G-sob. It's exotic to California. We think it's native to southeastern Arizona. This is Tom Coleman. He's the one who actually discovered the beetle. Beetle. It feeds under the tree, essentially girdling the tree shutting down the movement of water and nutrients, and slowly over several years it begins to kill the tree. One tree can produce several hundred to a thousand beetles as it starts to get infested. It doesn't just start with this tree, it moves to the other larger diameter trees in the stand. It's impacting county residents. I mean, it's a huge, huge problem. Jan Gonzalez is with the Farm and Home Advisor's Office. GSOB has become such a threat, they're offering field training for anyone who might come in contact with the beetle. So these are the larvae of the gold-spotted oak borer. For Jeff Nelson and his tree service business, this training is important. I have to help get the word out to people to what to look for so they can preserve these trees that are, you know, 80 to 100 years old. And you can count rings where the beetles were damaging the tree. We want them to understand what the problem is with gold spotted oak borer, how to identify symptoms of it on a tree. The GSOB loves the bottom part of the tree. They'll attack the lower part of the main stem and larger branches, but even at the early stages of infestation, they'll be about eye level. So it's important to get close to the tree because you're looking for these very small D-shaped exit holes. So you got to get down, get low. It's not uncommon this insect will come out on some of the root flares or be right at the root collar. It's believed the G-sub came from Arizona on firewood. Really trying to put the education out there about the threats of moving firewood and introducing this problem into other areas. Jeff can help by sharing this information with his clients. When he trims or cuts trees down, some of the branches are chipped up. The rest are cut into firewood. 90% of the people up here want to keep the wood to burn, so that's good. I just have to let them know to tarp the wood or to put the screen over the top of it and then, you know, leave it on site. Don't try to sell it to a firewood guy or anything like that. So if you're planning on buying any firewood, remember the phrase, buy it where you burn it. Nice job, large tree. In the County News Center, I'm Suzanne Bartol. Take the top of this guy down a little bit and then thin out it in this over here.